Kenny, how many times have you seen a guy on TV, you know, or in the arena, get knocked out because he goes straight back? Plenty of times. Because really, when a guy gets knocked out, when a guy gets hurt, it's usually not a complex list of reasons. It's usually one of like three or four. Either you didn't move after your punch, or either you, uh, you reached when you came in, you didn't come in behind the jab, you know, getting in the right way, you dropped your hands, or you went straight back. That's it. That's it. That's correct, the one about going straight back. And let's use this metaphor, this way of thinking, to really put it forward in people's minds. If a train was coming at you on a railroad track, where would you go? Off the track. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't start running back on the track unless you're really fast. Really fast. You get off the track. Well, we're going to get off the track. We're going to break up pressure. You're fighting a guy like Jake LaMotta, Mike Tyson, pick, choose your guy, whatever, okay. whoever. Who's an aggressive fighter you, that you like? Mike Tyson. How can you know? There it is. So, what you do, we touched on it earlier, mm -hmm. but now we're going to concentrate on it. Where it's all about timing his step that's going to bring him close enough to hit you. All this stuff means nothing. Except if you get excited and you move too soon because you're not used to being in this realm. A realm where you could get hurt. A realm where you got to be calm in an uncalm place. A realm where you have to control your fear in a fearful place. That's the trick. That's the most important thing for a fighter to understand. So, these steps don't mean none. But the one that's going to bring me closer, as soon as I started, you step to the side. The way we were taught. Okay. You go right to the side. And you punch as soon as you get there. All right? And notice things. Notice if my hand's up. If my hand's up, land low, punch the body. If my hand's down, hit him in the chin. If you can't hit him in the chin, hit him behind the ear. It's a good spot. So it's his equilibrium off. All right. So, these steps don't mean none. This one means good. As soon as I started, if you're late, you get hit. If you're too soon, you get timed. It's got to be right. So here comes the train. Choo choo! Ah, you uh, could have went a little sooner. Okay. I'm gonna make sure you move because I'm gonna hit you oh, <laughs> if I you don't. Know. All right. <laughs> Not bad. All right, don't don't have to turn. That tip wastes time. Okay. You can stay right there. You can stay ahead of me. If my shoulder moves, we even go back the other way and catch him again. Okay. All right. Options, they're there. Let's try the other side. We gotta be able to go to either side, all right? This, yeah, you're, you're too late punching, Ken. So you gotta have in your mind, this is you, bop, it looks good. Uh, bop, I want your punch as soon as you get there. Okay.